vibing whatever this gen Ugh, bro this generation matter of fact is a pet peeve of mine What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that right now and click that bell so you know when I'm posting. Um, without further ado, honestly, let's just get right into it because I'm not gonna lie, making this video, preparing it, has been kind of triggering me a little bit. As you guys can see by the title, um, today we're gonna be listing off my pet peeves and honestly, I didn't realize I had this many until I actually started writing them down because I was like- I'm a pretty accepting person. I don't think I have that many triggers or whatever. But, no. I actually have quite a few, so let's just start saying them. So my first one, excessive touching. I do not like physical contact like that, okay? I don't know if it's because I just didn't really grow up with a lot of physical touch, but don't touch me. It really grinds my gears. There's no reason for you to require touching me in order to communicate something to me. Tapping me ridiculously um, or just trying to get my attention, like, you, you can say my name. I have one, you know? You can just easily be like, hey, Rochelle, I'm trying to get your attention. You do not need to tap me. Too much hugging, unwanted, like, it's just... <sighs> There's a time and place, and most of the time, it's never. never. However, there are exceptions I make, depending. But don't just come up to me and start touching me. Screaming in my ear. Like, I'm I'm right here. There's no need for you to be speaking above this volume. Like, if I'm here, you don't need to be up here, okay? I can hear you. It, it, the, please. I'm not trying to lose my hearing at an early age. Please stop yelling. People who walk slow in the hallways or like just around on the sidewalk or whatever. Why are you walking at, at the speed of a snail? Get your legs moving, one, two, one, two. Like, why are you moving at that rate? Pick it up, come on. Can I speak to the manager? No, you can't actually. I'm the manager now, what's up? Working in retail really humbled me. It really made me realize what type of people are out there and I will forever have empathy for retail workers because, you know, people are a special kind of stupid. You learn pretty quickly out there in the field. And it's just, no, my manager's gonna say the exact same thing that I just told you. So I don't understand why you insist on asking to speak to them just to waste both of our times. I mean, honestly, I'm getting paid at least to waste my time. I don't know what you're getting from it. You're not gonna get the discount. You're not gonna get the override. So just, just stop. Rude people, uh, uh, that's just the way I am person. No, that's not just the way you are. I have encountered so many of those people and they just irk my soul a special type of way. Why do you have to be rude? Why is that your instinct? Why do you feel like that is your nature? That you have to be aggressive when you speak to people and that you have to be rude? Especially when it's like unwarranted and unasked for. I did not ask you to point out something, then don't say it. Unless it's like something really striking and it's like, yo, girl, I'm trying to like look out for you because you know, I don't know, something's messed up in the back of your head or whatever, like you gotta fix that. But if I'm just sitting living my best life and you just feel the need to say something unnecessary, I might feel the unnecessary need to hit you and that's not my fault you know you triggered me so using the wrong there um like why you know there's three there's there as in they are there as in over there and then they're possessive it's not that hard i feel like the english language has words and spelling and we should probably respect them and i don't think that's too much to ask because somebody came up with these words it wasn't without purpose, so I just feel like you can take the extra step to know which one's appropriate in which situation. It's not that deep. Nobody asked me what's wrong. Don't slide up on this unless you're one of my close friends. I know who my real ones are. Since I promised you nobody was going to hit you up. And then the worst thing about these people too, I don't do it, but I know someone slid up and then they're like, I don't want to talk about it. Do you really not want to talk about it? Because you seem like you want to talk about it. Because your Snapchat story is saying otherwise. You just posted 15 snaps in a row. You're crying and you're posting all these things about and nobody got me, I got myself. And then you want to end it off with don't hit me up. Nobody was going to. But now you're bringing attention to yourself and it's clear that's what you're seeking. So just say it, just say I want someone to hit me up. I want to see who's going to check up on me. We know that's what you want. Just stop, it's annoying. Sagittarius is, uh, you know, like, I think it's just really unfortunate that you happen to be born at that time of year because it's just, I feel like it's just an inconvenience for you. And I'm sorry for you, but also sorry for everyone who has to interact with you guys. Um, much love, but 
And my sister's a Sag Cusp. Um, she's a Capricorn Sag Cusp. Um, one of my closest friends is a Sag, and it's just, I'm speaking from personal experience here, okay? So, when people waste my time, don't, <laughs> our time on this earth is so limited. I don't have that much to just be throwing around. So don't waste it when I honor you with my presence and my time. Okay, not to sound cocky or conceited or whatever, but time is precious to everybody. I'm privileging you with my time of day and you want to take it and use it for nothing. What's wrong with you, you know what I mean? I just, I'm, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, really. When people say library instead of library, again, we were given the English language for a reason and I feel like there's not much left for us to do but just use it the way it was intended to be used. I don't think it's too much. Just pronounce it the way it's spelled, library. It's spelled library, so say it library, okay? When I go to the bathroom and pee and then I immediately have to pee right after. That one really ticks me off. At my bladder, I literally just went. Why didn't you tell me you had more to do when I was there? Especially in the middle of the night. Why did you let me leave the bathroom, come back, get comfortable again, just for you to be like, but wait, there's more. No, I'm gonna force you to hold it in because I didn't ask for this and now you're inconveniencing my time. Again, don't waste my time. I was in the bathroom. You should have said something then. Don't try to say it now. It's too late. You missed your opportunity. People that brag, I honestly don't care. I'm happy for your success. I'm, I'm never hating on no one's success. It's never what it is. Don't get it twisted. But why do you feel like you have to post about it everywhere and all the time. I don't need to see it on your Snap story, your Instagram story, your Facebook story, your IG live. We get it, okay? You got a new car. Congrats to you, kudos. But <sighs> sorry to break it to you, we just don't care. When someone tells me to do something that I'm about to do, it literally, oh my God, I can't even emphasize how much it makes me not want to do it immediately after i'll literally be on my way to do the laundry but just because you just reminded me to do it now i don't want to and now it's not worth it i don't even want clean clothes anymore because i was just about to do that i knew i knew what i had to do and i was gonna do it but now i don't want to do it anymore and that's all your fault when people open my door and don't close it you opened the door to get in here right you said what you had to say so why wouldn't you close it now that our interaction's over. I just don't understand. You know, leave it the way you left it, if not better, as my band director would say. Leave the place in the condition you found it or in a better condition than you found it. Leaving the door open is not better than leaving it closed. So close the door, please and thank you. Facebook requests from random people from different countries. How did you find me? At what point did you happen to stumble across my page and decide, oh, I'm going to add her? Wh who are you? I can't tell either because your profile picture is trees. It's just like, ugh, why? Like, please leave me alone. Spoilers. If you're going to tell me to watch a show or watch a movie, why would you think I'm going to continue to want to watch it after you literally just told me the whole plot of the movie, the plot twist, the surprise ending? I don't make it make sense. Sis. I'm not watching it anymore. And that's that's thanks to you. So you go ahead and you think about that. Vibing? Whatever this gen Ugh, bro, this generation, matter of fact, is a pet peeve of mine. But vibing. Please, someone let me know in the comments, what, what does it mean to vibe? Because, <sighs> do you want to date me or not? Do you want to talk to me? No, first of all, talking. What is that? I'm talking to you, I'm talking to my viewers. Are we going to take this into a relationship or not? I understand there's a dating stage, like that's, that's one thing. But what is vibes? Like, don't try to vibe with me. Tell me you're interested in pursuing a relationship with me or you're not. And then I will clearly cut it off right then and there because again, I don't like my time being wasted. So don't try to vibe with me. Humans, honestly, this whole population. Ignorant people. I just feel like there's so much benefit to being open-minded and to being open to hearing different perspectives and opinions. I mean, it's fine to have strong opinions on certain beliefs, but when you make it that you'll never be open to any other opinions and anything, that's a problem because you're limiting yourself so much and that's really just unfortunate for you. You know what, you ever heard when someone has like a cough and you know it's there, 
or like they have to clear their throat but they don't like oh that i can hear it oh my god it's like just clear your throat bro like you hear that i know you hear that i know you feel it like i can feel the phlegm in your throat for you clear your throat like that's disgusting and it's annoying to listen to it it really uh just people who don't like kids like i understand not wanting to have them but how do you not like kids like they're so adorable like they're just they're so innocent like there's nothing wrong with them how do you not like i don't get it like i love kids like it's just i feel like if you don't like kids you're just a demon like that's weird why all right i'm gonna cut this short because my phone's playing with the storage right now it's really about to get me tight and i think it's overheating i only made it halfway through the list so i'll definitely be making a part two to this i was literally talking for probably an additional 15 minutes and none of that got recorded so i'm a little tight right now but we gotta make it do what we do and we'll make it do with just this so if you made it here make sure to like comment subscribe thank you for watching up until this point and as always share this with your people share this with whoever and everybody and i'll catch y'all in my next video Thank you.